In this module, we're going to go over working with resources. We want to learn more about viewing resource availability and assignments, building teams from PWA, as well as working with the new resource request and engagement features now found in the Project Web App. Let's first look at working with resource availability and assignments. And we'll do that from the Resource Center. So I'll click on Resources from the Quick Launch. And here you will see a list of all of your available resources. Now for this demonstration, there has been some configuration around creating a view that groups by a resource's particular position role. Now keep in mind that some features and some functionality have been added for this particular instance. Now what you'll notice is that in this particular environment, we have added an additional view here. And this view is going to organize and group my resources by their position role. So there has been some changes and modifications around the way these resources are organized. And we go into that in the administrator course in terms of creating those custom fields and then associating them to the resources. In this particular case, we're going to focus on the project managers, that being Aaron Painter and Steve Masters. So we're going to create a scenario by which we need to find some available project managers that we want to potentially place on our project. So in this case, I'm going to click on Steve Masters here. And as you can see, he's in this PMO category. And within the Resource Center, on the far right-hand side, under Navigate, we have those three areas that we want to work with. Let's first look at the Capacity Planning area. So I'll click on Capacity Planning. And what we are expecting to gain from this particular area is where the resource is potentially available. Now, I have a project coming up that I'm going to need a project manager on that is starting in a few weeks. So the first thing I'll do is just simply scroll down and look for that particular range that I want to be working with. Now, one of the things that we can do before we start analyzing these resources is give ourselves a little bit more real estate on the screen. And so I don't really need to see the quick launch at this point, so I'm going to use the focus on content to basically hide that particular area. Now the next thing I want to do is establish the range that I want to be analyzing. And in this case, if I click on the set the date range, I want to look at the middle of the June timeframe. So I'm going to click on the from and I'll scroll myself forward here. And for the most part, I want to focus on these set of weeks here within uh, this May timeframe. So I'll click on the 16th, right? And I'll go to the end of the month, right? I'll just go ahead and go to June 3rd here and click OK. So what this is doing for us is it's allowing us to see these very specific days in which this resource would potentially be available. And you can scroll down and take a look at where the resource happens to be available. Now what I did is I created a project that has Steve Masters loaded onto it. I want to illustrate that to you here. So I'm going to click on this project that I've entitled Managing Resources. And you can see here that Steve Masters is assigned on these days. But what I need to do is publish this project. I'm going to publish it up to the server here. And again, keeping in mind the date range, 5.9 through 5.12, is where we have Steve Masters assigned. And we'll wait for this to complete the publishing.
And so after it says publish completed successfully, I'm going to minimize Microsoft Project. I'm going to change that date range. And you can immediately see the effect that it has on the availability, right? So one of the takeaways from that particular example was that even though I had loaded Steve onto the schedule and I had saved it, that it was not reflecting within the remaining availability until I had published it. And so as a project manager, you can work with your resources in that draft state, in that saved state, if you will. And only in when you publish it will it actually have an effect on the resource from the perspective of availability. And we'll talk more about that as we go through, but that's one of the main areas that you want to be aware of that as you look for resources you have to be sensitive to how they've been loaded onto the schedule. Now if I scroll down you'll notice that that project comes over immediately into this project assignments area and it shows you exactly where this resource happens to be assigned. Right? You can see the the dates here that 5-9 date that 8 hours that he's been assigned to in this particular case. Now, if I want to go get more details about the actual assignment itself, because here it's saying that the resource has been assigned, but it doesn't necessarily say what, in this case, Steve has been assigned to. So I can actually go into the resource assignments area to see the details of the project and the, the assignments in question. So I'm going to move the split bar over and you can see that I have the resource so it will be organized by the resource and then underneath that is the actual project name and then you can see the specific tasks out here in your time scale and then in this details area. Now this particular view doesn't allow me to make changes here. This is purely for resource managers and project managers to gain insight into the resources and how they're being assigned and managed. I can go back to the resource center by just simply clicking back on the resource center here.